fabulous and beautiful. And with a little help from Dr. Donishmond, we can be. <laughs> hey, Dr. Sean. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Christine. So if you guys don't know Dr. Sean Danishmond, he is a high-risk pregnancy surgeon and doctor who has taken on cosmetic surgery as kind of an afterthought. Yes? Yes, and I you have. You have a spa down in Hillcrest. We have a spa down in Hillcrest, yes. Okay, first, before we get to what you're doing down in Hillcrest, a little birdie told me that you got an angel award from Sharp Hospital. <laughs> What's that about? Oh, my goodness, my wife. My wife is the one to blame for this. She's so cute. Well, uh, I, I'm thankful to one of my patients who actually donated a, you know, some money to Sharp Hospital, and I was humbled by receiving this gift, really, just in my honor. You look at you. You are so humble. What you did, see, because I'm just learning about this now with you guys. What it sounds like you did was you put together one of your wealthier clients with Sharp Hospital. They donated a bunch of money, and you know, and I they gave you an award for facil facilitating it. Believe it or not, actually, uh, this is a patient, Norma. Thank you. I have to call and call you and thank you, actually. But uh, this is a patient that I took care of uh, during her pregnancy, and yeah. she was kind enough to give some money to Sharp uh, in my honor. So oh. it was very nice. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Thank you Good so work. Much. That's the stuff that really matters. Thank oh, you. absolutely. That's what keeps us going, yeah. really. Okay, so um, there's something really cool that I want to talk about. It's called Vaser Ultrasonic Liposelection. Right. Did I get that right? Because I Absolutely. said laser in the... In no, the, it's okay. It's, it's yeah, this Vaser. Is, this is, is ultrasonic. So, you know, typically when patients actually come in for a consultation regarding liposuction, and what they usually uh, think about is what they see on television, where you have, you know, a doctor sucking fat out and really working very hard. The difference between this and traditional lipo is that imagine a piece of fat. Just take a piece of fat. It's, I know it yeah, sounds a little gross. Look at, it look sounds at my a little gross. In the I know, but <laughs> Hold just, on, I'll go up to the dressing room right now. Don't you worry about it. Actually, look at me. No, it's a piece of fat, and then you just basically there's a hot probe, which is the ultrasound probe. It gets hot and it vibrates. It gives off uh, sound waves, so it emulsifies the fat. So take this piece of fat and Im imagine torching it, liquefying it, and then sucking it out. So oh, so that's how it gets out of your skin. Yes. You melt it. It's still inside your skin, but you got the thing in there and that still right. sucks it's it Right, it's just like traditional lipo, whether you do it under general anesthesia or you do, uh, do it under local anesthesia, you make tiny incisions depending on which area of the body you're treating and you, I do it under local anesthesia so yeah. the patient's awake and they're talking oh, really? to me and they're listening. Oh yeah, really? it's, it's incredible. I mean, okay. really majority of the patients who do this, 100% of the time I've seen patients usually say, wow, it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. But you melt the fat and then you go suck it. So when you see me, it's actually a very Is it easy true technique. though that Fat cells never go away; they just get bigger and smaller. Is that true? No, I mean with this procedure, if really unless you suck them out, of course. With, well, <laughs> with, really, I know. With, like for example, gone. myself, I need liposuction myself. Oh, but, don't start! No, no, no. Do but honestly, start. it's a it's a mental thing. Meaning, you have to be. It's a lifestyle issue. You have to. If you're exercising, you're dieting, and you really. The patients that we treat are patients that are constantly involved in some sort of a physical activity. They're watching their weight. They're watching their diet. So those patients actually do get long-lasting results. Uh, certainly, you can't defy, you can't inhibit the aging process. So but that's, I mean, these are still like post-pregnancy people too, yes? Oh, I mean, absolutely. We're talking we see about, yeah. post-pregnancy patients, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, I'm blessed to be uh, taking care of, you know, high-risk women and their pregnancies. And then afterwards, you know, seeing them for their, you know, other needs such as their melasma, such as their, you know, baby fat that they have left that they can't get rid of. Yeah, so it's interesting. That's what I really like about you because you see the whole picture. You, you know, you have this specialty where, you know, you've got the, the high-risk pregnancy specialty where you're a surgeon and a doctor, but then you're also, you know, you're also aware enough to know that once the woman has the baby, that's not it. She not only had a high-risk pregnancy, just had a delivery, but her body is all, you know, all totally morphed and, and, <laughs> And changed, so you follow her through all the way through that. But this, right. you know, and then and then yeah, I've got the her. coolest job. You know, I did my residency in OBGYN, and then I did a three-year post fellowship in maternal fetal medicine. So this, so I only practice obstetrics. So this yeah. gives me the benefit of seeing my patients in the postpartum period as well. And they do have, you know, most of my pre patients are on bed rest. They don't feel as great as they used to before they got pregnant. Oh. So it's it's wonderful. Okay, before we get to your seminar, I just want to know one thing that I can't help but to think about is I've always thought I've never had liposuction or suction or whatever myself. You don't need it. But no. thank you. Um, but if I've always thought that, like, do you get lumpy? I mean, like, could you, like, take off more over here than over here and then I'm, like, lopsided you or could. something? Yes, absolutely. But you have to be the specialist that you that you have to have the eye that you make that not happen. Absolutely. I mean, I, f I think everyone who does this procedure has to go through the proper training. But the nice thing about the vaser, again, is because it liquefies it. You're not sucking out raw fat. So you melt it before you suck it. So there should be a more smoother appearance. Cool, man.
man. Dr. Sean, <laughs> thanks for coming in. Thank Ageless you so much. and beautiful med spa. Learn about Vaser Lipo Selection Thursday, September 27th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Old Town Marriott. You can RSVP by calling 619-299-0264, www.agelessandbeautiful.com. For more information, go to fox6.com. Coming up next on San Diego Living, find out what's in store for tomorrow.